Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these New Year retro earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of 11 o seed beads and here I use faceted crystals also called rondelles that are 4 by 6 millimeters and these here are ear wires in this beautiful copper color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or so 0.15 millimeters, size 10 beading needle and scissors and now I'm going to take about four feet of thread on my needle which is 1.2 meters and I'm going to start okay guys and I'm starting by picking up one of my crystals and I'm going through it with my needle pulling and leaving a small tail here okay and now what I need to take are six golden 11 os okay i have my six beads here and i'm going to slide them down to my crystal and i'm still holding my tail thread okay and now guys i will go here through my crystal still holding my tail thread here you see now i have this now I will flip my work and I will take six more. Okay, I have my six again here. And I will go back in circle through the same crystal. Okay, guys. Now I have this. Now I will go through all of those six beads. and I'm exiting here. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making here a loop and I go twice through it and make a knot and then I'm going to make one more knot. Okay, just like that. Now guys, I will do an additional step in this row. I will take one golden bead and go through all of those goldens. Okay, like this. Then through all of those beads here. And here where my gap is and where my hole is, I will add one more additional bead. And now I have 14 beads in this row. 6 plus 6, 12 and 2 more, 14, okay? Now guys, what I'm going to do is take one golden, one red and one golden. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back in circle through this golden bead here. Okay, now here I have something like a loop between my beads. Then I'm going in my following seed bead, just like that. And now I'm going to take a golden and a red one. And I will go through this golden that's from my previous element and go back and now you see what I have my two loops of bead share one bead in the middle 
Okay, then I'm going in the following seed bead and I'm taking one golden and one red, the same thing I had before and I'm going through this golden, through the one that's after that and even if you want to save time, go through the following golden, okay. Now I'm exiting here instead of going one more move in this direction and I'll show you one more time, okay, a golden and a red going through these two goldens and through the following. Okay. Now guys, this is what I have and I will continue until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue this, this is what I have. Now I'm here at my last step where you see I need to add a golden and a red but my golden here is already there. It's already added from my very first element. That is why here I will add only one red bead, okay. Taking one red and going through these goldens. Okay, in this direction. Now I'm going through this golden. And I'm going in this direction through the red. And I will add green beads. Okay. One green here between my reds, a second green, a third green, and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row, and I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and I'm here where I added all of my green beads and in my next step I'm going to take three green beads and as I'm exiting from one of my greens I will go back in circle through this green here and what I do is to make a cross of four beads, four green beads by adding three to the one that's already there. Okay, then I want to go in my next green bead and I want to take three more greens just like this and I'm going back through this green and my goal is to exit out of the next green and when I pull I have another cross of four beads then I'm going to take three more green beads just like this and I'm going through this green and through the following red and in the following green okay guys and now i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now i'm here where i need to add my last three beads in my last green okay and i'm adding it and then in my next step i want to go here at the edge of my work Okay, I'm exiting here in this green bead at the edge here, my thread is out of here and I'm going to flip my work and I'm going to take two golden beads, go here, two more goldens, go here. Okay, two more, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I added two beads everywhere between my green beads and what I want to do is exit through those two golden beads in this direction. And now I want to take three goldens just like this and as I'm exiting from this golden I'm going back in circle through it 
just like that okay now I have this you see then I'm going through the green and through the following golden two goldens and I'm taking three golden beads going back through it and if you can in one movement go through the next two goldens okay now I have this now take three more goldens go back through these two goldens and if you can in one movement through the following two okay guys and continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here at my last step where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and i'm going back in circle through these two beads in this direction okay just like that and now what i'm going to do is go here through these three beads in backwards direction through those three beads at the top and i'm going to flip my work this way and i'm going to take one red bead and i will go back in circle through the next golden of my next element okay this is what I do. Then go through the following two beads. Take one red and go through this golden here. Okay, like that. Then through the following two goldens. Take one red and go through the next golden okay like that and again through the following two take one red and go through the golden and when i make this row I'll, everything will sit nice and tight and not move around okay i will finish this row the same way i showed you and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you how to finish your earring okay guys and here i am where i'm adding the last seed bead from this row and now it's time to attach my ear wire and i want to attach it here um, my crystal is situated in this direction with its wider part and I want to connect my ear wire here okay let's say in this where this golden bead is and I'm taking one golden bead then I'm taking my ear wire, slide those down, then I'm taking one more golden and I'm going back in circle through this golden here and pull and then I will go one more or two more times around this loop reinforcing it. Okay, and now I will go through several more beads in this direction. And I will find the place to make a knot. Okay, and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once going twice through the loop I've made and pull and then I'm going through the following seed bead I might repeat this knot several more times 
but when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread and my earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my New Year's retro style earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in the description you will find a full list of materials. Amazon links where you could buy support from link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.